so much. Um, I, I'm scared of this, so I'm just going to do this. Um, thank you so much for this, Catherine. Thank you for presenting this to us, <laughs> sharing this night with us, and so bravely embodying the beauty and the struggle behind every grappling question and answer in this series. Thank you to the Norman Lear Center, Norman Lear, Hollywood Health and Society for this honor. To everyone involved in the show, Cheryl and I can't thank you enough, ABC Studios, Hello Sunshine, Hulu, our producers, Lauren Neustetter from Hello Sunshine and Stacey Silverman from Best Day Ever who are here with us tonight, our directors, the incredible cast. Humongous thank you to Des Moran who wrote this episode and <laughs> not only brought his whole beautiful self to this, he got in a general hospital reference in the episode which was very important to all of us and to our entire writing staff who had to be up here tonight. Um, with us. We did this as a group, even in a Zoom room. They were able to bring their full, messy, just glorious hearts and stories to this. Um, I read this book when it first came out years and years ago, and I just have to share that adapting it has not only felt so fulfilling, but so vital to me um, as a mother, as a daughter, as a person living in this world like everyone else, dealing with loss and grief and fundamental questions about what we're doing to each other on a daily basis. And Cheryl, she guides us in the way that only she can to the answers that live inside of us, to know that with love and hope and resilience in each other, we have the capacity to keep ourselves afloat. So I have to give the biggest, biggest thank you to Cheryl who shared not only her story, but her mother's story so generously. I feel so lucky to be living at the same time as you <laughs> and to be a real life, real time recipient of your wisdom and your care and your collaboration and your humor and so much compassion and love. Thank you for being you, for the enormous unforgettable gift of doing this with you. Every person on the show, I know I speak for everyone when I say we felt so lucky to be in your orbit me most of all, and any recognition we get for the show truly belongs to you. Oh, honey. I love you. Thank you. I love you. Thank you so much. Oh, my goodness. OK, so yeah, I had to put on my reading glasses so I can read the teleprompter. Thank you, Liz. I want to start with you. So the reading glasses aren't any help at all. So I'm just going to say, speak from my heart for the next hour and a half. Um, <laughs> Liz Tigelar is an extraordinary human, and it was my really one of my life's greatest privileges and pleasures to have the opportunity to work on this show under such a beautiful, gracious, not, not technically under, I guess, but alongside all of us um, with Liz, who is so kind and so gigantically hearted and so uh, spectacularly talented as a, a writer. I learned so much from her, and so my deep gratitude to you, dear sister. This show would not exist if you hadn't put all your, your, your intelligence and passion and energy into it, so thank you. And all of you beautiful writers who showed me what it means to be a TV writer, um, thank you all, and Des, for this episode that is so very close to my heart. My mother did die on the Monday of our spring break of our senior year of college. Um, I did fall onto the ground with her diploma in my hands. It did take me a long time to go back and actually earn my degree. So these stories that we told with such consideration and care, um, you know, by the time I came to this work to telling the story of my grief, what I knew as a writer is that it wasn't just my story. It was the story of everyone who has ever lost anyone who's essential to them. What I cared about the very, very most when we made the decision to, to adapt the book Tiny Beautiful Things into the TV show Tiny Beautiful Things, I said it on day one in the writer's room, is we have to tell the story, the true story about grief. We have to tell the true story about what it means to lose somebody who you feel you cannot live without. And that these beautiful writers and beautiful Catherine and all of the beautiful cast and crew who helped us tell that true story 
is, is something for which I will be grateful for the rest of my life. Thank you all of you in the room and on this stage who contributed to making that happen. And thank you so much HHS for honoring all of us with this beautiful award. Thank you.